All right, in this week's analysis, we are going to discuss the weekly analysis for gold. We have given the time to give us more information and I think now we have something that we can consider, all right? So as always, our previous week's high, all right? But since the previous week's high has already been invalidated, we're going to move it a little bit higher to an area where we, where it might have some concern. And then our previous week's low, all right. All right, so from the information that we have from last week right here, what we have is prices ranging, as you can see, as you can see, candles are next to each other. All right, as you can see, candles are next to each other. Price is respected the high, price is respected the low, all right? So price is ranging at this moment and we have some sort of a mid level around this area. All right, so now these are the areas that we are watching out for. We have a high, we have a low and we have a mid zone that was created. All right, so it's it that low that price created. All right, so besides price ranging, what else do we have? We have price creating a law, a very strong law. As you can see, this was the first law and then the higher law that was created. And we all know that for price to create a new trend, price has to break two supports or two resistances for a new trend to be created. And right now, price was in an uptrend, right? And then it created a first law and then a new higher law. So as long as price respects this law and does not come all the way to this law, because the moment it comes all the way down here, there's a chance that it will break. So since price is respecting this law, we can say the uptrend might even continue because price is respecting the two supports that needs to be broken for price to go lower. So right now we're still seeing the up move on a bigger time frame. all right? That's on a bigger time frame. Even if we wanted to like check the monthly time frame to see what's happening on the monthly time frame, as you can see, our previous monthly candle closed bullish. All right. And if our previous monthly candle closed bullish, and this is the law that it's respecting, that's the law from the monthly candle from our previous monthly candle. That means price has a higher chance of going higher to fulfill this weak fill. All right. So first it needs to fulfill this week before it goes any higher. And remember, this is the highest God has been. So for price to go higher, it's going to take some time to break the high, but we can still look out for a week view. If price breaks our high that we're looking out for, we know price is going to fulfill the week view because our previous monthly candle is bullish. So as long as the previous monthly candle is bullish and price respects the, res the supports that we're looking at, price, is all them volume to go higher, all right? It is all the chances to go higher. So that was we, that's what we have on the weekly time frames. Now, if we look at the daily time frame, at the daily time frame, this is where things get a little bit interesting. So on the daily time frame, we're going to adjust our high, all right? And then we are going to add a zone that was created right here. Because remember, it might not be as big as the week as the monthly week fill, but this is the week fill that needs to be done. And the moment we reach that week fill, we have a second resistance. And if price breaks that resistance, price is going all the way to fulfill the monthly week fill as we saw on the monthly time frame. So these are our zones that we need. To have these are the most important zones that we have all right same explanation that we have right here if we look if you look at this all right price is expecting a nice law here so could we say that price because this is the last this is the last bearish candle before price went higher could we say price came all the way to retest for it to go higher there's a huge possibility that price did that so we need to see how today and tomorrow is going to unfold around this area, all right? So this is quite an area for price to 
stay around, but you know, with order blocks, right? Price can get into the area, any area of the last bearish candle. So some people use the Fibonacci to highlight the 68% or the 78 or 72% in this candle and say price might, might likely get into that area. So um, that would be around this area, but it will still show on the lower time frames if you check properly. All right. So yes, this is an area we can watch out for. But remember, price is also some chances of working down, collect stop losses for it to go higher. Because now it is to collect stop losses for people who are buying around this area and for people who bought around this area and are still holding. So they want to collect those stop losses before price went higher. Because remember, they took stop losses here. They took stop losses here. So if price can leave us a big week in this area and then goes higher, that to confirm that price was retesting and is going higher. Always watch out for weeks. Watch out for weeks. Candlesticks and weeks. I'd say weeks are very important. Weeks will give you signals earlier than anything because in this area, if someone had noticed this week and this week, even if you had bought on this candle, you would have kept holding your position and collected all of the profits because the moment price created this week, and no candle came lower than that, that meant price had higher chances of going higher. As long as there wasn't any candle that came below here, as you can see, price was going higher. Even if you look at those bearish candles around this area, these bearish candles, look at the weeks that they left down, all right? These are not the weeks of price wanting to go lower. These are the weeks that price is rejecting some sort of an area. So that was our signal so we need to see how today and tomorrow is going to unfold and it's going to tell us if price is planning on going lower or if price was just retesting to go higher all right because this was a clear breakout there was no retest all right so is this the area for the is this the way for the retest for price to go higher all right so we're watching out for that if not then we're watching to see price come in close somewhere around here. So we need a strong candle that will close down there and that will tell us that price is going lower, all right? Remember, patience is key. You will save yourself a lot of trouble by just being patient, all right? Now, on the four hour time frame, we're still, our zones are still very much clear. So we're just waiting to see how this four hour candle is going to unfold and it's closing in a few hours, in two hours, 16 minutes, all right. So we need to see how, what action price is going to give us around this area. Right now, price is going higher clearly, as, you can all, as we can all see, but we have on the one hour time frame, we have some sort of a zone around here, all right. So if we have some sort of a zone around here, does that mean price, it's going to come all the way up here, give us some sort of a range for you to go higher. Because if it comes all the way up here, right? And then we get one bearish candle that leaves a long week and push, pulls all the way and comes and close above here, then that confirms our outlook. So we just need to see a one long week that's being left at the bottom, confirming our, our um, analysis. If we get one week that's being left at the bottom, that means all stop losses have been, yes, have been collected. That means price can freely go higher. So right now, markets haven't given as much as yet because today we have two bullish candles. That's not, that's not much and we don't have any entry. So for us to get an entry, we need to see at least this four hour candle closing somewhere here. And then we need to see a bearish candle being driven down and then pulling back up, leaving a week, all right? And then price giving us something for it to go higher, all right? But if we do get a bearish candle that comes all the way down and then closes down here, then price is most likely going to go lower, all right? So just watch out for that, all right? So if you don't get an entry for today, don't worry. 
today and tomorrow might be our days for watching but if you're clever you might you might manage to get some nice entries but yes we need to wait and see because prices came all the way down so we need now we need now to see if this is a retest or if price is going to go lower or price is going to reject and go higher because the monthly time frame is suggesting that price goes higher all right so good luck any questions please feel free to ask as always until the next analysis